Barbara Bach is an American actress who's best known for her role as the Bond girl in the 10th James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Bach faded to obscurity after the 70s, and she now lives a quiet life with her husband, Ringo Starr, and her two daughters. Here are 10 secret facts about Barbara Bach. Number 10. She was a popular model. Before she started acting, she was a model who was quite popular in the 60s. She was only 18 years old when she appeared on the cover of Seventeen. She was also featured on the cover of Vogue USA and Elle France in 1966. She worked with the Eileen Ford Agency and was one of the highest paid models in the 60s. Before she starred in her first film, she had already appeared on the covers of several international magazines. When she moved to Italy after her marriage to Augusto Gregorini, she appeared in the Italian magazines Gioia, Amica, and Bella. Number 9. She began her acting career in Italy. While she was in Italy, she was approached by someone on the street who asked her if she wanted to do something for television. Her first acting role was in the Italian TV show Cordial Mente in 1967. She quickly became famous in Italy and landed a role in Lodicea in which she starred as Nausicaa. Lodicea was a TV adaptation of The Odyssey, the epic poem by Homer. Directed by Franco Rossi and produced by Dino De Laurentiis, it had eight episodes and each episode was an hour long. She also starred in the 1971 Italian film Black Belly of the Tarantula with two other Bond girls, Claudine Auger and Barbara Boucher. She appeared in several other Italian films before she decided to move back to the U.S. to work in Hollywood. Number 8. She Hates James Bond Critic John Simon said Bach was the most beautiful woman to ever enter the Bondian universe. Her role as Anya Amasova in The Spy Who Loved Me is arguably her most famous work. But did you know that she hated James Bond? After the Bond film she starred in came out, she mentioned in several interviews that Bond is a chauvinist pig who uses girls to shield him against bullets. She starred in an NBC miniseries called Princess Daisy with her husband Ringo Starr in which they both played a gay couple. Bach said Princess Daisy was better than James Bond. Number 7. Ringo Starr is her second husband. Her first husband was an Italian businessman, Augusto Gregorini. She met him in New York, where she was working as a model. Gregorini was visiting New York from Italy for business tourism. Bach decided to move to Italy with him, and they got married in 1968. With Gregorini, Bach had two children, Francesca Gregorini and Gianni Gregorini. Gianni was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, but got better after undergoing an operation. Gregorini wasn't happy with Bach's growing fame, and they separated seven years after their marriage. They divorced in 1978, three years before Bach met Ringo Starr. Number 6. Queen of the B-Movies When the shooting of The Spy Who Loved Me ended, she moved back to Italy to star in a sci-fi film called The Humanoid. She also starred in two horror films called The Great Alligator and Screamers. She went on to perform in a few other relatively unknown Italian films. Thanks to her role in these movies, an interview with her in the late 70s called her the Queen of the B-Movies. Number 5. Master's Degree and Charity Work After Bach realized her film career had come to an end, she decided to pursue a master's degree in psychology. She went to UCLA and graduated in 1993. She also began doing a lot of charity work, finding the self-help addiction recovery program Sharp with Patty Boyd, ex-wife of George Harrison and Eric Clapton. She created the Lotus Foundation with her husband Ringo Starr. The Lotus Foundation funds, supports, participates in, and promotes charitable projects aimed at advancing social welfare in diverse areas. Bach worked with Olivia Harrison in the Parents for Safe Food campaign in 1989. Number 4. She lost an audition because producers thought she wasn't American. She auditioned to replace Kate Jackson for the role of Sabrina Duncan in the crime drama TV show Charlie's Angels, but the role was given to Shelley Hack. In an interview with Johnny Carson in 1979, Bach said the reason she didn't get the role was because the people auditioning her thought she wasn't American. They said she was too sophisticated in attitude and look. Bach was born and raised in New York, and spoke English with an American accent. But because she mostly starred in Italian and French films and spoke with a Russian accent in the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me, she found it very hard to get hired for American roles in films. 
The Spy Who Loved Me was the first film in which she had an English language role. Number 3. Her Role in the James Bond Film Barbara Bach got selected for the role of Anya Amasova in The Spy Who Loved Me because she was relatively unknown at the time and the James Bond film producers were known for hiring actresses who weren't popular so they wouldn't have to pay a lot of money. Some other actresses who auditioned for the role were Catherine Deneuve, Martha Keller, and Dominique Sanda. All three of these actresses were well known in the 70s, but the role eventually went to Barbara Bach. Number 2. Bach had a drug and alcohol problem According to her husband Ringo Starr, they both partied all through the 80s and struggled with alcoholism and drug use. In an interview, Ringo Starr said his drug and alcohol addiction got so bad he couldn't even remember most of the shows he played. The couple was convinced in the 80s that they were going to die unless they got help. They went into rehab in 1988 for four weeks, and they've been sober since. They're also vegan. Number 1. Her Marriage with Ringo Starr She attended a concert by the Beatles at Shea Stadium in 1965, 15 years before she met Ringo Starr. They met while they were filming the 1981 film Caveman and started dating soon after. While they were vacationing in 1980, Bach's daughter called to tell her that John Lennon had been murdered. They quickly flew to New York City to console his wife and his son. A year before they got married, Bach was in England with Ringo Starr, where they were involved in a near-fatal car crash. The incident left both traumatized and made Ringo realize that he never wants to be away from Bach again. They married on April 27, 1981. Which fact did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to press that subscribe button.